everyone, welcome to Wow Achievements by Ice Lighting. In this video, I'm going to do a guide for the Pet Battle Challenge Strat Home. In it, I'm going to show you all the battles, how to do the Malone achievement, where to um, or how to do the World Quest boss that sometimes shows up, as well as all the pets and how much they're going to cost and what they look like. So, if you need a shortcut to any of these things, check the comments. I've also done a list of all the pets I've used, if that helps you out. So first battle you're up against is Belchling. So this one, you only need one pet. You need the discarded experiment. Now I sped this up because no one needs to see me slaughter them all in over a long period of time. But basically you are using the list I've put at the bottom corner. Spike skin, breath, 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 the Belchling died. Arcane storm, spike skin, breath, 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 arcane storm, spike skin, breath, breath, scavenger dies. And then we're on to the final one and then it's arcane storm, breath, spike skin, breath, and then breath again. And both of them should die relatively the same amount of time. You can have some backup pets. Obviously it's always good to have them in case you need them, but you should be able to finish that off with just the one. So next up then we are on to the sludge belcher. So this one you want to be using the tactic of Black Claw, Hunting Party or Flock. Um, so I've used my Zandalari Knee Biter and my Zandalari Ankle Biter. And because it keeps swapping them over, you want to be using Black Claw with one, then preparing for Hunting Party with the other. And then when you have uh, neither of those available, use, um, for example, Leap and then back to the tactic. And you'll see that because he keeps swapping them in, um, you've got plenty of damage going on and you don't have to worry about losing any time on it and you can see the um he's out everyone's still alive so next we're on to the wandering phantasm and i am bringing in my barrier hermit crab so this one i'm basically ignoring the first one because i know it's gonna haunt me and i'd rather do damage to the back line um, people as they come in now a lot of this um i missed crits and therefore missed a lot of these but there is still the list um, of what I used and when I used it and I still complete it but it would have been completed faster if I critted at least once on them and usually I did which is why I always use the same team so um, we're now on to the core hound pup and he's just finishing off with scratch dodge and then scratch again and then that one's out as well so next we're on to the crypt Fiend. Now um, I'm using Junk Heap Roach to start with, we're using Shell Armor and then we are scratching and scratching until both die at the same time. The next pet I'm bringing in is the Azure Welpling and I'm using Arcane Storm. Now the two pets that come up from the back line here, these could be different. So the ones I got were Gargi and then I got the Tormented. Um, if you don't get them, you should still be okay with these pets. So again, the list at the bottom is telling you what I'm using against them, and I had a spring rabbit just to finish anything off because it has scratch, and usually the back pets are undead. So the final boss of this area is Liz, and we need things with Tail Sweep for this one because it does an awful lot of damage. So I'm doing Tail Sweep, and then Tail Sweep, then Tail Sweep, then Tail Sweep. Now, if I've timed this right, I could have got a Darkness in there too before my first one dies. However, um, I timed it wrong, but it doesn't really matter. This one will go down really easy as long as you have Tail Sweep. And you'll see here, this is the miss on the darkness which probably would have finished it off. I just brought in another dragon that had tail sweep and that didn't take very long. It just took two more attempts um, of tail sweep and then this is dead. So on to the longest battle you are gonna do in here. It is the plagued critters. Now these just keep coming but you only need one pet. Bring in an emperor crab, do renewing mist, shield shell and snap and rinse and repeat. Keep your shell and your renewing mist up and then just snap. It does take forever to get through them all because there's a lot of them, um, but as long as you keep that going, you don't actually need any other pets and you will finish off with really high health as you can see. So next we have the Risen Guard. For this one, I'm bringing in mouse so we're doing stampede starting with and then scratch and that should kill off the risen guard really really quickly um even with its second life just finish off with the scratch and then it's gone 
So next I'm using Poison Fang and then Stampede and then that Prairie Mouse is out. So next is the Cinder Pup, so I am using Flame Breath, Flame Breath and then the Spirit Dies. Now again these backline pets could be different, so this won't necessarily be what you will see, but these pets should still take them out. So you can see Cinder Pup has already taken out the second one and it's taking out Gargi now, just using Immolation Howl, Flame Breath, Flame Breath. So the next one I'm going to show you is the World Quest Ezra. So this isn't always up, I've only ever seen it once, so I think you only ever get it once. Now for this one I chose to use three Chitter Spine Skittlings, or yeah, Skittlings. Um, you could get away with um, any pets that have Flock and Black Claw. So that's basically what we're doing, is Black Clawing and swarming with the Skittlings, but you could obviously be doing black claw and flock so three pets that have that um, a set of abilities and you will take everything down really really fast and you shouldn't have a problem with this so next we have Terry so I'm using the chisel spine uh, skiddling first which if you've already used it for Ezra you can just swap to something else that has black claw and flock um, but ideally you want to have a chest spine because this does more damage with the swarm and it takes Terry out really really well so you can see here that before the chest spine dies it has already got Terry down onto its undead life which is what you want to be seeing so um, once that's out obviously I've swapped to a anything it really didn't matter so um this is my sharp talon and hatchling coming in and this one is just doing a predatory strike but it, it really didn't matter because it was on its undead life so after clearing everybody in front of the slaughterhouse which is just literally killing uh, this is when you want to be doing the post malone so what you're doing is you're looking for this discarded letter now i'll put a list of um the locations it could be um in the comments so that you can uh, have a look yourself but once you have found it all you need to do is return it to the mailbox which is just over here so once you do that malone will uh, appear so for this battle this took me a lot of attempts and i actually thought this one was going badly um and so made some few mistakes but still pulled it off so i started with dust bunny a dodge to start with to avoid the main damage, stampeded, flurry, flurry, then I'm dodging and lefty is then dead on its own dead life. So what I'm doing at this point is then running a stampede to try and get some damage on the next one before dying. So once Dust Bunny's out I brought in a Dreadmore and this was um, a test on this one so I was using a Flame Breath and then Flame Breath and it died so I, this is why I thought I was out. But Benax I then brought in and this one has a bubble shield and this is really important so I'm bubble, sh starting, bleh, bubble shielding to start with and then I'm using mudslide, tongue lash, tongue lash, tongue lash and it actually killed off the middle pet. So because I wasn't at full health when we're on the final one I really wasn't thinking I was going to survive but tongue lash, mudslide, tongue lash, tongue lash, tongue lash and then I was waiting because one of the moves this soul collector does is to explode so you need to survive that which is what i was hoping i could do with my bubble so as soon as it got down to um around 500 i bubbled but then it healed but i did enough damage that the bubble still worked for when it did explode the second time i did the damage and you can see i got the achievement malone so that may work for you now the achievement gives you a pet which is burnout and this is burnouts spells actions things whatever you want to call them that it does and then i shall summon it so you can see it and there you go so on to the last three bosses then i'm going to start with tommy the cruel and we are using experimental roach first now you'll see i also have a pet in here that is low level i'm actually leveling it up because this battle is relatively simple so i'm doing swarm disease bite and then swarm um even though my pet dies before it finishes the swarm cast it does a nice amount of damage and puts a good debuff on the bad guy so then i'm bringing in the pet that i'm leveling i am doing flurry dodge flurry and then i went for a burrow but of course it is dead because it is low level and it takes a lot of damage it's not really the point um 
because then I can bring in my savory beetle that just does swarm and finishes it off during the swarm. So you can see there, done and dusted. So why did I use a low level bunny? Well, that is because you still get a nice amount of XP even though it is dead, so it's well worth using. So next is Fletcher. So this one you need a rabbit for. So you wanna start with dodge so it can't swap you out. You wanna do stampede so it puts that debuff on it. That means it takes more damage. And then when stampede's finished, you wanna do flurry, dodge, flurry, stampede. So you're basically repeating the process by using that dodge it can't swap you out and you therefore can keep doing damage to it. Now um, the bunny pretty much gets it all the way down however you will need another pet in order to just finish that last part. So I brought in the savory beetle and you can see it's already at like minimum health because I had used it on the other one um, but it didn't need to do much just to give it a whack to finish it into undead and then it just used survival so it could stay alive. So on to the final boss then. This one has two phases, so we'll go through phase one first. You are using Little Bling. You want to do extra plating, make it rain, and inflation. Just by using those three, you will take out the first phase really, really quickly, and you can then start working on the second. So as you can see, first phase is down, it's now up. Second set, you want to use Make It Rain again. You then want to use Inflation again, and you will see the damage it is doing is really, really good. Um, you will end up dead, so you need a second pet afterwards. I brought in my Ghastly Rat, and it literally did Flurry, and then Flurry again, and there is the Undead Life active, and uh, it's down. So there you have it. So that is all the bosses. That is the entire instance. In order to exit, speak to this dude and he will take you out to the front. So you will have collected tokens from doing it. If you've done Ezra, you've got extra tokens. You'll need nine in total for all the pets. As well as getting the achievement for actually completing it, which will also reward you with the Evil Wizard's Hat, which gives you the mini Mansa. So this is the mini Mansa, and these are the spells, actions, things, or whatever you want to call them that it does, and I will summon it so you can see it. So here is our mini Mansa, which is actually very, very mini, but has a very, very cool hat. So it's basically Terry. So um, the other pets obviously are Ziggy, so this is the one you can buy for tokens and these are the spells, actions, things or whatever it is you want to call them that does. And I will summon it and he is pretty big, he's much bigger than Terry and that is what it looks like. So the next one is the Crypt Fiend and these are the spells, actions, things, whatever you want to call it that this one does. And again I shall summon it so you can see what it looks like. Also bigger than Terry. Then you have the Smelly Cleaver, which actually is the gruesome Vulture. So this is the spells, actions, things, whatever you want to call it that it does. Summoning that one. And it's so, so small! Why is it so small? It's ridiculously small. And then finally, the um, Wailing Banshee Essence that is in a bottle. Um, this is the spells, actions, things that it does, and it is called the Shrieker. And there it is. So I hope you found this video useful. As always, thanks for watching and subscribe to see what else I'm up to.